Hey everyone, this is Chad Kaitler, field agronomist with Bex Hybrogen East Central Illinois. Today is May 25th. I'm in a field in Iroquois County, Illinois, just north of the town of Watsika. And one of the things uh, that's a challenge in this county in particular is a lot of the lower CEC soils because of some of the sand content. And this field I'm standing in right here, as you can see, I'm kind of on the edge of the field in the corner. But uh, one of the things we often get reports of that I get calls on a lot of times is growers driving by fields uh, in their pickup trucks and, and calling and saying uh, their corn looks yellow, uh, which can certainly be from the transition phase from the seed to the nodal root system. But, but also we have some things where we, uh, we tend to think it's nitrogen deficiency. And, and when guys are driving by the field, I often get calls, my corn looks yellow, it looks nitrogen deficient. And oftentimes I tell guys to go out and take a picture of that uh, over the top of the plant and send me that picture and tell me what it looks like uh, or show me what it looks like. So here I just want to point out uh, as we look at some of these plants a little bit closer, one of the things that we can see that's uh, very common in some of these lower CEC soils, such as the, in this field would be tending to be in that uh, as low as six to maybe as high as about 10 or 11 in some spots. But what you can see in this is intervenal chlorosis or yellowing. So sometimes this is referred to as zebra striping, um, but it's just yellowing between the leaf veins. And some have said that if it doesn't go all the way out to the leaf tip, that tends to be sulfur deficiency. Sometimes this can be confused with other macro or micronutrients. But uh, in this case, with what I know about the soils in the area, we, we do have more soils that tend to be lower in sulfur uh, in this particular geography. And it's not just this uh, particular county, but it's many counties across the territory. Um, we're seeing more of this. And there's many reasons for that where we're seeing more sulfur deficiency at this stage. Our soils tend to mineralize sulfur along with other nutrients throughout the, soil, throughout the season um, as we get adequate heat and moisture. Obviously this year in the geography I cover we've had adequate heat but we've had a lack of moisture. So what should you look at doing in this situation where we do have sulfur deficiency showing up in corn plants? The best thing is if we're side dressing nitrogen, specifically if we're side dressing, say like liquid 28 or 32% or you know, a UAN solution, I tend to recommend uh, for most guys to look at two to five gallons per acre of thiosol. And thiosol, the full name is ammonium thiosulfate, but the branded name would be thiosol. And in general, uh, using round numbers, if we're putting five gallons of thiosol, per acre and with your solution, uh, your nitrogen solution, UAN, we're getting out of that five gallons of thiosol, we're getting about 10 pounds of nitrogen and we're also getting about 15 pounds of sulfur. So this would be a good recommendation for fields that test lower than 25 pounds of sulfur on your soil test. Sulfur is very mobile in the soil because it's an anion. It's sulfate, SO42 minus. Uh, and this is something that we could address uh, side dress in a solution. Uh, we can address it in a foliar feed, but with the conditions we've had across our territory being very dry, I, I don't expect that we'll see a lot of results from a foliar feed that contains sulfur to correct this early season sulfur deficiency. We will still obviously need more sulfur, uh, excuse me, more moisture to be able to move sulfur that might have been side dressed uh, with the, thought, with the uh, UAN solution to be able to move it to the roots. So that's a look at some sulfur deficiency on corn. A lot of guys tend to refer to this or look at this when they're driving by and think that it's nitrogen deficiency. So if you have any questions, contact your local Bex representative. Thank you very much.